Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a update for you guys with the new iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for 32-bit devices. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into this tutorial. All right, so first off, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you on my iPad right now, since this is the only 32-bit device that I have running iOS 9.3.5, which I will be updating very soon. So let me go ahead and go into settings, and I'm going to show you guys really quickly that I do have the software update for 9.3.5, and I am currently running Jailbroken on iOS 9.3.2. So from here, since this is my family iPad, don't worry about all these other little apps in the background, but let me go ahead and show you guys what you guys need to do if you guys are on a lower Jailbroken device, since you guys are most likely on iOS 9.3.5. 9.3.3's jailbreak by Pangu. So go ahead and fire up iTunes and then once you guys are here go ahead and back up now and do an encrypted local backup. Make a password and just have it backed up so once you guys are done with the jailbreak you guys can go ahead and restore your guys' iDevice to where it once was before the whole entire jailbreak. And this is only if you guys are not yet updated to iOS 9.3.5. If you guys are out of luck from before and you guys were on 9.3.5, you guys can go ahead and just skip this part of the video. So from here, go ahead and make a backup right now and I'm gonna go ahead and update it. I went ahead and already downloaded the IPSW for iOS 9.3.5. So from here, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna restore iPad by doing option and clicking restore iPad. Now if you guys are on a Windows, you guys can go ahead and press shift and then restore iPad. So let me go ahead and shut off, find my iPhone first since that is giving me the error. All right, so went ahead and shut it off. Now you go ahead and click on the IPSW that you guys downloaded in the past. If you guys have not done that, you guys can go ahead and just press restore. It'll automatically download the latest, which is iOS 9.3.5, and then go ahead and press restore. Then it's gonna go ahead and go through the restore process via iTunes and I'll see you guys once it is done. Alright guys, so once you guys all finish the restore process, you guys will see that you guys are on iOS 9.3.5. Now let me go ahead and show you guys my screen on my iDevice right now. So from here, as you guys can see, I'm in the settings, we'll go to about as well, and I am running on iOS 9.3.5, which is the jailbroken model. So next step, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and head over to the first link that is inside of the description to be brought to this page right here called Phoenix. Pwn.com. This jailbreak was made, like I said in my last video, by Seguza as well as Timstar, the developer of making the downgrade tool in the past. Now what you guys want to do from here is you guys want to press on the download button and you guys want to click on the second link inside of the description in order to download Impactor if you guys have not yet downloaded that in the past with jailbreaks. Now from here as you guys can see I do have Impact open. I do have my iDevice plugged in and ready to go. Now when you guys have the IPA, just like the past jailbreaks, go ahead and just drag that inside of Cydia Impactor. It'll prompt you for your iTunes email. Go ahead and type that out. Now go ahead and press your password and press OK once you're done. So once that is done, it is gonna go ahead and sideload the IPA on your guys' iDevice. So it looks like they did put a little mixtape inside of the jailbreak IPA as well, just like what Luca Tedesco had done in his past with his mixtape.ipa. So as you guys can see, it is loading up. Let's go ahead and open up my iPad real quick and I will get it ready on the page. So from here, as you guys can see, uh, what you guys wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go into settings, general and profiles and device management and accept your guys' iTunes email in order to claim that you guys are the quote, quote developer of this app in order to sideload and use on your iDevice. So from here, let's go ahead and do that. Now, once you guys trust yourself, go ahead and swipe over to where the Phoenix app is at inside of the springboard. Go ahead and launch that up. And you guys will see that it has the same GUI as the last jailbreak for iOS 9.3.3 for 32-bit devices, otherwise known as Home Depot. So from here, as you guys can see, there is a mixtape player if you guys wanna check that out in the future after you guys are done jailbreaking. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and press prepare for jailbreak at the very bottom. And these are his terms and conditions, but if you guys wanna read that, let's go ahead and read it. But if you guys do not, let's go ahead and press accept. Go ahead and press dismiss and proceed with jailbreak at the bottom. Now it's gonna install City and go through the whole entire installation process just like how we did in the beginning with the first jailbreak. So let me go ahead and just shift that over since I did not do that in the beginning. So let's go ahead and press begin jailbreak at the bottom. Now it's gonna say offsets were found, go ahead and use provided offsets. So let it do its thing. And if it fails a couple of times, go ahead and keep on trying to restart the Phoenix application and then you guys should be able to be good to go. So this is gonna be my first attempt right now and then if it does not work, I'm gonna go ahead and count 
how many times it takes me in order to have Cydia installed and have my iDevice jailbroken. All right, so that took me one try, guys. I am back on my springboard, swiping over to the right. As you guys can see, Cydia is now installed. If you wanna go ahead and tap on that, it'll go through the whole entire process of launching up Cydia for the first time, and then it'll refresh sources and so on. So from here, you guys know that you guys are in fact jailbroken. If you guys can see, this is not fake. And if we scroll all the way down, you guys can see I do have the iPad 1 Wi-Fi edition on iOS 9.3.5 with Cydia running perfectly fine. So there you guys have it guys, that is the tutorial on how to jailbreak your guys' iDevice running iOS 9.3.5. Thank you to the developers who made this possible. So now all iDevices running iOS 9.3.5 are now jailbreakable for life. So that's awesome, so the next thing we need is for all 64-bit devices and I'm sure we're gonna see that in the future as well. So with that being said guys, if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get tutorials just like this in the future as well as a lot more videos regarding the next jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5, iOS 10, and iOS 11 betas which are now coming our way shortly by Apple. Don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on all these types of news as well as screenshot this outro right now to add me on Snapchat so I can interact with you guys a lot more. So with that being said guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.